say There is a chance that we can make it so far We stop believing now We can be who we are Greece is the word Word that you heard It's got groove, it's got meaning Hey everyone, happy to say welcome to live with kim man it's been it's been a day outside i don't know what the weather is like by you guys but it's been storming it's been pouring um it's been interesting i didn't even go out and work at all tonight just because of the really crappy weather so i hope everybody's staying safe out there as you know as the hurricane comes up the east coast hopefully it didn't impact too many people and everybody stayed safe out there it was it's so hot these past couple of days and we're gonna go from like 90s into like 70s tomorrow which is um it's it's amazing to me what weather what weather does and then it's supposed to rain for us the next like couple of days so i don't know whether that's going to impact how i work what's happening who 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 know who knows um but man all i gotta say so if you hear rumbles in the background or lights flickering it just have to wait for the storm um to pass through but anyway, um, so welcome, you know, before we even start the evening off, Steve Rideshare Rodeo and I are in a safety campaign just because, you know, we were talking a couple weeks ago and, you know, we just really want to make sure that everybody is staying safe because I feel like it hasn't been addressed enough. I, we feel as though we don't talk about it enough. And are you doing everything you possibly can as a driver to feel safe while or to be safe while you're out on the road? So the first question I'm going to ask you guys, and I asked you guys this, I think it was in a community poll. Do you guys have a dash cam? I personally have been using a dash cam for a while now, even before I started using Display Ride. And we're going to talk about Display Ride just for like a half a second because I think this is um, important. I started using Display Ride probably about a year ago now. And I honestly, I haven't looked back. My old dash cam had an SD card. And anytime that I needed to pull something off of it, I would have to take the SD card out. I would have to come home. I would have to, you know, hook it up to my computer and then run through to figure out what footage I needed. And it was, it was honestly a big pain in the butt. The good thing about, um, display ride is it automatically gets uploaded to the cloud so you never have to worry about an sd card ever again anytime you need footage you can just pull that footage and it is right there hopefully you never have to pull full footage hopefully you will never be in an accident hopefully you will never be deactivated for whatever reason hopefully you never have to use it but i personally feel safer using a dash cam i feel like at this point like almost every driver whether you do ride share or even food delivery should have a dash cam in your car like i said i recommend display ride been using them for over a year love that it's kind of it's the easiest thing you literally stick it and yeah plug it in that's that's the uh, that's the extent of it. I, I like easy, right? But with display, right? Because I feel like these go hand in hand. And I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now is legal ride share. They partner with each other very nicely is if you guys don't have their number or their website or their email address saved into your phone, guys, it is free. If you're in an accident, if you are injured, like these are the guys to go to. I got so many questions last week. Is it only Rideshare? No, they are the only law firm, the first law firm to just be dedicated to gig workers, which I think is actually fantastic fantastic. Um, so hopefully you never need them, but always have their phone. They should be your first 
phone call to make. And if you have a dash cam from Display Ride, you can actually pull the footage that they need and you have all the proof that you need of your injury or your accident. So they work very well together. So go check out Lilo Rideshare. They're also doing a survey, which I pinned to the comment section. It's free as well. It takes a couple of minutes and you enter to win a $100 gift card. So go take the survey. If you're on the computer listening to me, watching me now, heck, go take it now. Listen to me and go take it right on your computer. Just open up a new tab. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's free. And their consultations are free as well. So what's not to, what's not to love about that? <laughs> yeah, you know, it is pouring. It is pouring here. I was just hearing the rumbles outside. I'm like, okay, please just let me get through this live before like another storm comes through. I had a, it was, it was loud earlier. It was pouring earlier. So anyway, so hello to everybody in the chat. I hope everybody is having a fantastic evening. Fantastic. Thomas, you took that survey. They need a couple more people. So just keep the surveys coming in as well. So on tonight's live, oh, DoorDash, what have they done again? How with the large order program? That is what we are going to talk about. You know, I think we have all asked ourselves this question so many times over the past couple months, right? At least I have, you know, those drivers who were on the large order program and it, it was a game changer, right? Like it was, I feel like it was like a privilege. Like I was on the large order program for probably about two, maybe three years before they switched over to the rewards program. And it really made a difference being a driver on the DoorDash program or the platform, I should say, we were seeing, at least I was seeing like four to 10 large orders every single day consistently. Huh. And that was really just this the norm, right? We were just so used to it. And then I don't know about you. I mean, I can talk for myself, but you could single app, right? You can just do DoorDash when you were on the large order program and you can easily make your goals every single day, which um, that's why I became a really big fan of the large order program and of DoorDash as well. Well, then in, of course, DoorDash fashion, we all know how DoorDash rolls. They had to go and change the freaking program. <laughs> I think we were all upset um, over this for a while. And according to them, according to DoorDash, the large order program, it still exists. Do you guys believe that? Let me know. Do you guys believe that the large order program actually still exists to this day? And, oh, man. Well, I think a lot of times us drivers like look at DoorDash like they have two heads because, man, yeah. And Thomas, hold that thought. You're loving the third party catering apps delivered. So hold that thought because we're going to get into a little bit of delivered um, a little bit later on in this live. But yeah, and Ellen, we're going to talk about the no catering bag anymore as well. So, Oh, so it went from, at least for me, it went from getting four to 10 orders a day. I'm lucky at this point if I get one a day. Let me know if it's the same for you guys as well. Like it was the, the, the rewards program, in my opinion, completely changed the large order program. And yeah, that's the day that the rewards program really honestly took over and the large order program as we know it just completely, in my opinion, just kind of stopped. It went from orders to zero, literally overnight. It felt like the like the faucets just completely got <laughs> turned turned off automatically. And the question was, is where did they all go? They still all exist, but who is really delivering them because customers are still ordering subtotals over a hundred dollars. 
they're still doing it according to DoorDash. And we'll talk about that in a little bit too, right? According to DoorDash, they're gaining money. They're, they saw, they're seeing profits. So people are still ordering, right? But where did they go? It's still honestly a mystery, at least in my book until this, until today, or I should say until th this day. So now we're in the rewards program. We're all, I think we're all there. I think if not, I think majority of the country at this point is in, is in the rewards program. And if you are platinum, supposedly, I'll say supposedly, if you are platinum, you are prioritized for large order program and high paying orders. I think many drivers, including myself, are like, finally, we are going to see some of the program came back. At least that was my high hopes when the rewards program got rolled out. Well, hopefully I was thinking we are going to see amazing orders again. If I just maintain that high acceptance rate, right? Well, to me, that's just really just not the case. At least for me, it's not. I'm honestly, I'm lucky if I get three to four orders a week. I, I see some catering every once in a while. Large orders, I'm lucky if I get like one a day, maybe, possibly. So where did they go? Who's delivering them? That is... That is the question. So did the LOC, LOP, how, whatever acronym you want to put in there for DoorDash's sake, have you seen it disappeared for the most part? To me, it's nothing like it ever was years ago. Well, we'll say a year or two years ago. I feel like the Platinum program is just turning into the old top dash of program. Am I only one who feels that way? Where the only thing it's good for is honestly, if I maintain a high AR, I get the dash now, which in my opinion, I need the dash now because I need to come and go and work whenever I want work because I have a ridiculously crazy schedule that I need to come and go and only that, but it gives me a leg up on a lot of the dashers that are overabundance in my area. So this new rewards program, I'll be honest, it's not because we're seeing large orders. That's honestly, it's just really just not the case. So let's fast forward to last night. And as soon as I got these two emails, I'm like, you know what? I had to <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I have to stop because I, I this is too adorable. Hey, Becky, my daughter came over to watch over my shoulder. And she said, can I ask the girl a question? Absolutely. And she wants to know the biggest catering order you ever delivered. Ah, oh, that's a good question. I'm trying to remember. Um, I want to say the largest one was delivered that at 175, I believe, was the total payout of it. The highest DoorDash one I ever delivered, I believe, was 125, somewhere around there. Um, but those are kind of my two biggest, highest paying orders that I think I've delivered high paying orders. Hopefully that answers your question. So I am like, I got these emails. Um, and I, I'm like, I have to, I had to read through them first of all, because I'll be honest, I'm like, I don't, I'm so confused. Like they were, they were completely contradicting themselves. They were contradicting the large order program. So it had me even questioning it again. Is the large order program in existence? Does it still exist? Does it not exist? Is it part of the platinum program? I'll be honest. I don't even know whether I even have those answers for you guys tonight. Unless you guys have the answers for me, I'll be more than happy um, to entertain some of those answers you guys might have. But I figured if I'm questioning it, there's other drivers that might be questioning it as well, right? 
And, you know, Sarah, I'm with you as well. Like, I, I know there's some of you guys who do get DoorDash catering orders. I am having better luck doing catering orders to Thomas's point with deliver to deliver that cartwheel. Um, it was, it's that, it's, it, it's become a secondary thing in catering. Like, honestly, if I get it, fantastic. Um, it just adds to my day, but I don't see catering on DoorDash. Like I said, I have more success on third party apps than I do in the food delivery space. So this is, in case you guys miss it, this is the very first email that I received last night. It says, good news, a catering bag, and this is, I think, Ellen, I think you were the one who just mentioned this. It says, good news, a catering bag is no longer required for accepting large orders. Though, if you have already had an insulated catering bag, we encourage you to keep on using it. It's an ideal way to keep your customers' orders at the right temperature every time. As part of this update, the Dasher app will now display the label large order catering. Note that if you are a platinum status in the Dashner Rewards program, you you'll still enjoy priority access to large orders. Sincerely, I'll put sincerely, even though it just says the Dasher team. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Sarah, you got the same email today. Um, okay, they already say large order catering. That's nothing new. I feel like they, by them putting it in bold, they think like it's this new thing that they just discovered. Uh, it's been called this for the past couple of months. So to me, that's nothing new. But this is another, is this another excuse for dashers not to use hot pegs and deliver cold food? It, like To me, this is like giving it a green flag. Hey, uh, this customer just ordered $100, $200, $300, $100 worth of food. Yeah, just throw it in your car. <laughs> and deliver it to the customer like what happened to, like to me this isn't customer service like what happened to customer service right huh. i don't know i just i hey whatever you do with hot bags is whatever you do with hot bags that's your business and your business to run however you want to run it the way i deliver food and maybe it's because i care like i deliver food the way that i would want food to be delivered to my house so I, I don't, I would be so honestly, if I, as a customer, I spent two, three, $400 of worth of food on the DoorDash app and someone came to my house and it arrived cold and soggy and not in a bag. Like, I think I honestly, I would be pretty upset that this is the way that it's, I just spent all this money and I probably hopefully tip the driver a really good tip and this is what I'm getting. You wonder why customers have such a bad impression of DoorDash and Dashers? This is, in my opinion, this is what really adds to it. Mm. Uh -uh. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'll be honest. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of this. Anyway, let's move on to the second one. So 22 minutes later, I get another email and a lot of you guys commented. So first of all, thank you so much for the comments. Always keep them coming. I got a lot of comments that you guys got the first email. You guys didn't get the second email. So I don't know why I received a second email. I haven't figured this piece of the puzzle out, but this was the second email that I received. And it says, you're all set. Starting tomorrow, August 6th, which is today, you'll be the first in line for large high value orders. These deliveries represent all large orders on the platform, including some catering deliveries that cannot be scheduled in advance. Get ready for bigger tips and more money in your pocket. Um, you just told me in the previous email, I'm receiving large orders because I'm a platinum dasher, but now you're telling me that starting tomorrow, 
I'm going to start seeing large orders. So what happened to all those months that I didn't receive large orders? Now you're saying that the platinum program is what crap. And now I'm going to start receiving them again. Like I, it's so contradicting <laughs> what they are trying to achieve. At least in my opinion, they are. Huh. <sighs> Is anybody else confused by this? Like, I, I, I don't know what this means. I'm going to be honest. And I was going to save this for later on. I have my notes, so I didn't forget anything tonight and what I wanted to convey. And I was going to say this later on in, in the live. I didn't work DoorDash at all tonight whatsoever. <laughs> Today, I should say, at all. I worked, I think, every app except for DoorDash today. So I don't even know whether this, what this effect went into today. I, I don't get it. I mean, I guess I'll know when I turn DoorDash on again. I'll be honest. I just wasn't in the mood to deal with hot weather, bad weather, and dealing with an acceptance rate on DoorDash today. So I didn't even turn it on. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to work my other apps. But, and I was going to say this later in the show as well. That's the beauty of, at least in my opinion, what I do with multi-apping is I can make my money with DoorDash and I can make my money without DoorDash. I'm not reliant on DoorDash. Is it nice to have in your pocket? Absolutely. Can you make money on DoorDash platform? Absolutely. But I don't need it in order to make my money. So days like today where I didn't even want to be bothered with DoorDash, I didn't turn it on. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm, good with, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not the only one, right? So very confused, right? So a couple of you didn't get it. Hey, Lady D, how are you? Well, for us, we have a large bag. Yeah, one side is one in short, and the first they declined us yesterday. But then later that day, it says, then an email, I was happy because now we can do them. Okay. I don't, I just think, I don't know. I don't know whether this email was to like, see face like hey it's, it hasn't gone away it's still here it's still live you know go doordash team that's not the way that i took it at least in my opinion that's not the way that i took it uh i don't know i i don't know whether and this is so i feel like this is like cynical for me right so the positive part of me was, and it's a very small, it's a very small percentage when it comes to DoorDash stuff like this was, well, maybe, maybe I'll start seeing large orders again. Like that's the positive side of me. I'm like, yes, I'm going to start seeing large orders again. This is going to be fantastic. Maybe we'll go back to making money, like big money on DoorDash again. And then there's reality, <laughs> at least in my opinion, there's reality. That no, that that's not even possible because DoorDash never goes backwards, right? They only go forward with new programs, and they're usually programs that somehow end up screwing the drivers. Somehow, I mean, look at the rewards program. We lost the. I'm going to say we lost the large order program. I haven't seen it come back the way that it used to. So, is this more mind games on DoorDash's end? You guys are going to have to let me know the answer. To that one, or is try is DoorDash um, trying to bring good light to a program that they absolutely just killed? <laughs> well, at least in my opinion, they still killed it. Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying. I think it. I think they killed it. Mm. So, Thomas, I won't even order DoorDash for myself because a lot of drivers look so unprofessional. Flip flops, leffy face. <laughs> there are definitely some interesting um, dashers out there in the dasher world. I don't know. I am, I'll be honest, I am not a big fan of the bag going away. I think it's a bad customer service um, move on their end. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So, what do you think 
is happening to the Large Order Program. You guys can go chat it, chat it in the chat. What do you what do you think is happening to the Large Program? Are they making it a comeback, or do you think, yeah, just them playing more games? So because I haven't been receiving a lot of large orders, and this has been going on for months now, um, I've been doing a lot more delivered lately. I don't know about anybody else, but I've been doing a lot more delivered lately. And now I've had, I've had delivered now for... Mm, year and a half, maybe two years, um, going on somewhere around there. I've had delivered, oh, let's put it this way. I've had to for deliver it for a while now. And if you guys haven't checked out delivered, if you are missing these large orders, you might, if you don't have delivered, you might want to go look into them, which by the way, I get all the time. Where's the link to sign up for delivered? Well, I put it in the description of this video. So if you don't have delivered, you can go sign up for delivered. Um, you know, unlike food deliveries, at least in my opinion, delivered is the most transparent out of a lot of these catering apps. They show you how much the customer has ordered. They show you your base pay, your tip, any excess pay that they're going to give you. Um, I think they're probably one of the most transparent. Um, you can get some good orders on delivered. Um, I'll be honest, they're not constant, but they are consistent, which is what I like about them. Um, they have really added value to um, my days. Do I get delivered orders every single day? No. Um, that's why I said um, they're not constant, but they are consistent and you can get some really decent payouts. And what I love about them most, and a lot, a lot of these catering apps, I like that they give you the orders the day before so you can plan it. Like I have a delivered tomorrow morning at 1030. So like I know that I can do either an Instacart or even food delivery before 1030, before I pick up my catering, I can get my catering done, I can come back, I can, you know, do other things. Like I know I can plan out my day. Um, according to what's, and that's one of the best things I love about Delivered. And I know we all complain about DoorDash support and, you know, Instacart support and Uber Eats support. Honestly, I've, I've never had a problem with their support. And I, I actually love that I can text them whenever I have a problem and they're fantastic. So if you haven't signed up for Delivered, even if you're part-time, Go check them out. You never know what orders might just come to your phone. And it's it could offset some of the orders you started seeing on the large order program. And you now might just even see them on delivered. Right? Isn't there I'm sorry, isn't their support amazing? Like I just text them and someone gets back to you right away, like with a text message instantly. Like they're always there to solve your problems, which I absolutely like. When can you say you can text DoorDash and like someone solves your problem through a text or actually someone responds? Hey, Eric, how are you? Um, you just checked your email and you got the no hot bag needed email. Drivers already don't use hot bags. They definitely are. I agree. They're not going to use them. Like I said, I just, I always put myself in the customer's shoes, right? At least I do. Like I try to think if I ordered a hundred dollars worth of food, like what's my expectation as a customer? And if I see a driver come to me when I just ordered hundreds of dollars worth of food, I would be honestly really mad. I'm just saying, like, I know me, like, why did I just spend all this money if this is the way that I'm going to get it? At least I think that's what my response would be. Um, deliver that for me, it's the most inconsistent out of, at least in my opinion, out of all of the catering apps. Um, I don't, yeah, I, 
I can't tell you the last time I got a delivery that. I'm going to be completely honest. Like they hardly come to my phone unless I am closer to another side of town that actually does a lot of deliver that. Um, if one does happen to ring, it's scooped up before I can even get to the app. Um, I'm not a big fan to me talking about transparent. I'm not a big fan of the tip pool. Um, I like to know up front what I'm getting, which is, I think, why I like Delivered um, over a lot of the catering apps. But mm, I'm just saying. <laughs> so Delivered is pretty good. Usually they don't knock out of the park. It's good for a few orders a week. As I said, it's more about um, to me, it's consistent. It's not constant. So it's a good, to me, filler um, to either get your day started. I went on a live delivered run with you guys last week in the morning, and I started my day off with a $20 quick order in the morning. I mean, I don't mind starting my day off with $20. So I, I, I just think it's, you know, it was a good jump start, good jump start to my day. So Some of them don't. I mean, you half of them catering orders won't fit in a hot bag. Some restaurants put orders in boxes that have like their nice logos in them. And sometimes they don't fit in, but I try to put in as many as I possibly human humanly can. <laughs> I, you know, I, I agree with you, Becky. The hot bag is more than just keeping the warm. It's like you're taught, you're taking it seriously. You're knowing your food hasn't been sitting in someone's dirty cart. I, I agree. And not only that, but whenever, even when I'm working catering apps or even DoorDash, like I always try to have the bag with the company's logo on it because I feel like as a company, don't, don't you want your like logo to be displayed as person delivering your food? Isn't that why you have like a logo on your bag? I, I'm just saying like, I just want to, I, I just think it's a big mistake. I drivers, there's a lot of drivers, at least in, in my area that don't take doing this seriously. And I see them just shove orders in their front seat, in their back seat, no hot bags, gross cars, dirty cars, and they're literally just throwing food. And now you're entrusting people without hot bags to deliver hundreds and two hundreds and three hundred dollars worth of food with no hot bag. I'm just saying, I, I think it's. Honestly, it's a recipe for disaster. Um, catering, almost every day I do catering, I use my cart. Um, even if it's like two, like say it's two bags and I can put one on one shoulder, one on the other, I always use my cart because first of all, the catering bags, unless you put cardboard on the bottom, they're not the most sturdiest bags in the world. And I don't want anything to leak, but I feel like, like when you arrive with a cart, especially catering, I feel like it looks more professional. So I would say unless catering fits just in one bag, almost every single time I use my cart or a wagon, whatever you have. I know a couple of you guys have collapsible wagons, but um, I use, like I said, I would say 99% of my deliveries, I always use my cart. In fact, one of the screws came loose on one of my wheels in my cart. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Like I had to go out and get another screw because I'm like, I like my cart is my lifeline to catering. So if you don't have a cart, I try to do catering for like a month without a cart. And I'm like, what am I doing? And I went out and just went and got a cart because I'm like, I'm not doing this any longer. So I recommend if you are going to do catering, get a cart. It looks professional. It it helps your back. And um, I promise you won't be, <laughs> you won't, you won't be disappointed by not getting one. Um, honestly, I got my cart from Walmart, believe it or not, of all places. And it's lasted two years now. So I really can't complain. It was, a, I'm trying to, I don't know, maybe it was like a $50 cart, maybe if not that. Um, but yeah, I got mine from Walmart and it has the handle that just folds down and folds flat. And I, you know, I don't have an SUV, but I like that it folds flat and it can go right in my trunk. Um, 
but yeah, that's where I got mine from. I was looking at them on um, Amazon. I have them on Amazon too. To me, my biggest thing was making sure that the handle went down and it folds flat just because of my car. Um, but yeah, I researched them on Amazon, but I'm like, you know what? Why am I going to wait from Amazon when I can just literally, I got tired one day and I, I had the next day I had a huge catering order. I'm like, there's no way. I'm going to be carrying a catering order with like two arms and two back. Like, I'm like, no, I'm like, it's going to take me several trips if I don't have a cart. And, um, the next day I went out and got a cart. Oh, you know, Bubba Sue, that's a good point. Looking at Harbor Freight. I never thought to look at Harbor Freight. I feel like Walmart, if I need something like immediately, like they're my go-to place. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to Walmart and go get a cart. And Yeah, you know, if if my car ever breaks, like I said, one screw went loose. I'm like, oh, no, no. I, I I went out immediately and got a screw and like screwed it back in. I'm like, I can't lose my cart. But yeah, I would be lost without, without my cart. Mm. And not only that, but I can't tell you now that I got the hand cart, I actually, I had a collapsible cart for Instacart. And now that I use the, the regular, you know, cart instead of collapsible part. I even use the cart more, the flat cart more for Instacart and groceries, especially for water, than I do the collapsible cart. So to me, it's very multi-purposeful. Um, and if you're going to invest it, I, I, I would invest in it. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. Uh, you've gotten 320 plus orders. Look at you, Becky, undelivered in the last month or so. All, of course, when I, it was a decent distance out of my work zone, but took out two of them anyway, because shoot, why, why not? They, yeah, there you go. Why not? See, the way I look at this, like even if you have to travel for some of these catering orders, when you are done with it, you're going to have $120 in your pocket. And that's another thing with delivery. You get paid the next day, right? So $120 in your pocket the next day, what's not to love? And not only that, like for me, that's more than half of my day and just in one order, which is another reason why I love doing some of these. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, funny how none of these companies offer carts even to buy. Actually, I think Delivered does offer a cart. I might have to get back to you. I was doing some research on their merchandise and they actually, see now I'm going to make me Google it. I think they might have a cart delivered. Hold on. I think they had a cart. I was looking at it the other day and it was very comparable to the one I got at Walmart. Hold on. Delivered. Um, driver. If not, I can get back to you guys. Shop your equipment. Um, by, I can ask them and they can probably get back to me even by tomorrow. They do have a cart. Um, catering folding cart is $50, $55. So it's comparable to the one that I actually got. <laughs> DoorDash catering carts. Can you imagine if DoorDash um, did a catering cart, but then they didn't require drivers to have catering bags? Would that make any sense whatsoever? I'm just saying. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway. <sighs> So going back, now that we went on a tangent about catering, I feel like I can talk about catering, especially deliver it all day long, just because I feel so passionate about that they're a good company. I guess that's my point, is that they're, uh, they're honestly, they're great people to talk to. They care about their drivers. Like, when can you, when do any of these apps, like, actually really care about their drivers? That's what I get when I have interacted with 
the group over in Delivered. So um, I'm excited. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, um, we'll have someone from Delivered on Tuesday Night Live and you guys can ask as many questions as you want. So I'm working on that um, in, the next couple, in the next couple of weeks. So look out for that. Okay, so I feel like we talked enough about the large order program, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but, you know, I would like to think that <laughs> I, you know, I talk some positive about DoorDash. I talk a lot of negative about DoorDash. I'm not going to sit here and lie. A lot of my stuff is for, and hopefully it's to entertain you guys, and it's for entertainment purposes a lot. But when you get into how people feel about DoorDash, and I've gotten this asked about me, like whenever I'm too negative talking a lot of times about DoorDash, I get comments, why do you, if you are so negative about DoorDash or Kim, you're too negative, then why do you still work the DoorDash platform? And it kind of goes back to, and this is kind of what I was saying, it's going to be further into the show, is First of all, DoorDash still makes me money. I don't care what anybody says. DoorDash still makes me money. As much as I complain about them, they still make me money. That's kind of the bottom. That's the bottom line. But this is the thing. Just like today, I don't have to work DoorDash unless I don't want to work DoorDash. That's why I have 16 other apps to work with. Do I always agree with their business practices? No, I can honestly say, are there many dashers out there that agree with DoorDash's policies, procedures, company practices? I would like to see a percentage on that one, right? At least I would like to see a percentage on that one. Well, according to, I don't know, you guys, it's been like all over the news that DoorDash is actually showing a gain for the quarter. Um, so they're doing something right. Like I said, we don't always agree with what they do, but they're showing sales growth. They're they're showing that they're growing as a, a company. Do I see it? Uh, individually, I personally don't see it, but they must be doing something. You know, Brian, I saw you at the beginning of the show and you were talking about shop and deliveries. They ran that campaign. What is it? That that summer dash campaign that they were running, that they were running all those promos. I think that's why we're seeing so many shop and delivers. For me, it has shop and delivers have quieted down, which I'm not loving because I was making a good amount of money on shop and delivers. But I guess my point with delivered and food delivery is I work DoorDash because I can. I work DoorDash because it makes me money. Am I negative about them sometimes? Yes. Aren't we all negative about them sometimes? Yes. Um, but I'm going to throw this back at you guys. If you don't like DoorDash, you always we always all have choices, right? We can always do it. We can always not do it. We can quit DoorDash. We cannot quit DoorDash. And that kind of goes back to the poll. If you guys haven't taken your poll, do you find yourself working DoorDash more, less, or the same? Go ahead, let me know right now. Do you find yourself working DoorDash more, less, or the same? Um, How many DoorDash lifetime deliveries do I have? I and mean, you're going to make me look it up right now. Let's see. I still think I'm at 13,000. The thing with me with DoorDash, if I want to maintain platinum, I still have to do... 100 deliveries a month, right? It's the rolling th 30 days. So in order for me to maintain platinum, I still have to work the 100 deliveries. So still going to work DoorDash. But sometimes different apps produce. Um, what's been working for me lately besides Delivered is I've been finding a good combination with Instacart and um, Uber Eats and DoorDash, like the three of those combined, plus putting in catering every once in a while. It's been a good combo for me lately. Okay, lifetime delivery, 13,681 on DoorDash. <laughs> so I, I, I might know a thing or two about DoorDash. I might know what I'm talking about. No, I, at 13,000, I should know what I'm talking about with DoorDash at this point. If not, I, should, I, don't, I shouldn't I should be um, a DoorDash driver. <laughs> hey, 
That's fine too. I, rideshare has been doing good for a lot of people. You would rather drive Uber or Lyft most days and turn and then turn it out, you know? If it's working for you, do it. Do whatever is working for you. That's making you money. A lot of times, you know, even part-timers out there. Do you guys hear that rumble? Um, it's thundering again. Um, even part-timers, you like you can do the hundred. It's a it's a lot. Hundred deliveries a month a month, especially if you're part-time. That's a lot of deliveries. So, you know, sometimes it's just not all about. Sometimes it's just not all about DoorDash. Hmm. Okay, so Autobahn, um, more, you're working at more, but because I'm simply working more ATM, it's usually not bad, but it's also bad enough at times I'm still looking for other options. Well, if I'm checkout delivered, strongly suggest it. <laughs> you know? Oh, thank you. I, when I say, like, so here's the thing. And I'm going to be real with you guys. Saw so Kim, true driver. Um, yeah. So that's, that's my proof. You know, there I am. So there are content creators. I, I like to say I'm a content creator, but I'm a full-time driver. So I am a full-time driver that makes content. Um, not the other way around. Like I, I'm working right alongside with you. I am still working 40, 50 hours every single week on top of everything else. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm still out in the trenches. That's why I say, I think I like, I want to think I know what I'm talking about with DoorDash. And it always amuses me when I get um, comments that they, someone thinks that I don't know what I'm talking about on DoorDash and it's fine. You, anybody can challenge me anytime they want. I'll be more than happy to entertain it. But a lot of times people think I'm only on like delivery number five and I'm like, no, I'm like 13,000 13, at this point. I think I know what I'm talking about. I could be wrong, but I, I, I tend to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but anyway, with that being said, you know, if you guys have any questions um, regarding even delivered, you can, I am on Instagram. You guys can always message me on Instagram, Kim Side Money Plans. You can message me on Twitter on Kim Side Money. I had to leave off the plans because it was too long. You can message me on Twitter. Um, those are the easiest ways to kind of get a hold of me. If you ever want to ask me questions, I think you, I don't know. Can you message me on TikTok? I'm on TikTok too. You can, I think you can message me on TikTok. I don't know how, honestly, I'm still learning TikTok, but you can message me there as well. But um, those are the platforms you can always find me on. If you have any questions, I can always try to answer them or even bubble it up if I don't know the answer myself. So anyway, Okay, you guys, that is it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for the chat. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you um, and your continued support. I will see you guys next Tuesday, same place, same time. And everybody, remember, kindness is always free. Bye, everyone.